Hello everyone, uh, my name is Magixon and uh, welcome to my third episode in the Slime Fun tutorial series. So today we will be going over um, armor and magical armor. So uh, to craft uh, all of these armors, uh, you will need an armor forge. And to make one, you will need a dispenser facing up and an anvil on top. Like this. As you can see, uh, Slyphon recognizes it as a machine. Okay. So the first armor on the list is Ender armor. And um, looks like this. Uh, it's just leather armor, uh, but purple, blue. Um, and to craft it, you will need uh, these resources. and. This is for a full set, and you can find it in the magical armor over here, as you can see. So, uh, Ender Armor, it has two properties. Um, the first one is that you will not take any uh, damage uh, from using Ender Pearls. So, uh, as you can see, no damage was taken, uh, but if you take off the boots, we take damage. Okay, and the uh, uh, other thing is we can use the Magic Eye of Ender. So this is basically like uh, unlimited use uh, Ender Pearl, as you can see. We can just uh, spam Ender Pearls. So this is the first armor uh, called Ender Armor. So the second armor on the list is Slime Armor. And to make a full set, you will need 14 iron ingots and 10 slime balls. And our slime ar armor um, uh, doesn't have any full set bonuses, but the slime boots and the slime leggings uh, have give you special potion effects. So the slime leggings give you speed and slime boots give you jump boost and no fall damage. As you can see, we get the speed and we get the jump boost. And if you just climb up this ladder, as you can see, no fall damage was taken. Um, they are decent. Uh, there will be a better version uh, a bit further down on the list. Uh, because this is still leather armor. And uh, that means it doesn't give you that good protection. So next up, we have glowstone armor. Uh, glowstone armor is made like... Uh, a normal armor uh, by using 24 glowstone instead of the ores. Um, so if you just take this down to armor stand, uh, glowstone armor gives you the night vision uh, potion effect. As you can see, if we just turn it to night time, should happen any minute now. Yep, as you can see, we have night vision. Um, yet again, it's leather armor and it doesn't have good protection and you only need one piece of uh, the set uh, to get the potion effect. So it's just kind of cool. Uh, maybe for mining you could use the helmet or the boots, but to make the full set I don't recommend it. So the fourth uh, armor on the list is uh, slime armor, but stronger. Uh, it's made uh, uh, using uh, four steel plates and 24 slime balls. And this is again for the full set. Um, you can see the crafting recipes here. As always, just use uh, slash SF guide uh, to get the guidebook. And uh, the uh, slime, the stronger slime armor uh, is basically the same as uh, the slime armor, but it's just uh, with the iron, uh, the armor you are wearing and gives you the same uh, amount of armor bars as iron armor because it basically is iron armor, but it also has protection 2 and unbreaking uh, 4. And uh, the leggings also still give you speed, and the uh, boots still give you jump boost and no fall damage, as you can see here. So if you just ooh, go off this ladder, no.
no fall damage taken. Um, these I'd recommend to be honest. Uh, it's nice to have some speed and uh, jump boost, and also no fall damage. Um, so yeah, mid game, early game, I'd go for them definitely. Uh, maybe not the slime helmet and slime chest plate, uh, but yet again they give you protection too, and I'm breaking four, so it's better than wearing normal iron armor. So yeah, this is the stronger slime armor. So now we have the boots of the stomper and farmer shoes. Uh, to make them you will need uh, four hay bales uh, for the farmer shoes, and two pistons and two white wool uh, for the boots of the stomper. Let's see the crafting recipe is right over here. Boots of the stomper and farmer shoes. Um, so they both have special effects. Uh, farmer shoes make it so that you don't uh, destroy any plants you ch uh, jump on. As you can see here, nothing happens. Uh, but if you take them off, boom. So uh, the boots of the stomper have a really cool effect. I really like it. So if you come here again, place down some chickens, climb up this ladder. Um, as you can see, we damage entities around us and also get them small uh, boost up again. So these are the boots of the stumper and farmer shoes. Uh, now the last armor on the list is soulbound armor. Uh, it's made in a magic workbench, different from all the other armors. And you will need two essence of death for life. Um, and one uh, diamond armor piece to make one piece of the soulbound armor. Uh, and that is eight essence of death life and all the diamond armor pieces in total to make the full armor set. And the soulbound armor, uh, what it does is uh, it's like the soulbound tools that if you die, you will keep it, uh, it will stay in your inventory basically. Um, it's pretty expensive to make because. So, uh, essence of Death Life is expensive to make. Um, but if you're like kind of end game and you have re really, really OP armor and you don't want to lose it, um, I recommend it. So, yeah, that's the Soulbound armor. So, now we get to the talk about the normal armor. Um, right over here. Uh, so the first uh, four armors, actually, I will be talking about not separately because they are pretty much the same uh, crafting-wise and effect-wise. They don't give you any special effects, they just have um, different crafting recipes and they give you different amounts of protection and unbreaking. Uh, so uh, Damascus Steel uh, gives you protection 4 and unbreaking 4. Uh, you can make uh, a full set uh, using 24 Damascus steel ingots. Reinforced armor, uh, a really expensive armor, and I'd recommend disenchanting it because you will probably have a lot of electricity going when you are able to make so many reinforced uh, ingots. Um, but you will need 24 of them. And uh, one piece gives you protection uh, 9. And I'm breaking nine. So that's the reinforced armor. Uh, gilded armor give, uh, is made using uh, gilded iron, uh, and it gives you protection uh, eight, and uh, I'm breaking six. And they have uh, I'm breaking uh, six and protection eight. So last we have uh, 12 carat gold armor and it just has unbreaking 10. That's it. Uh, you can put it on some tools and it's really awesome. But using this armor alone is it's not worth it. 
and it's made using uh, 24 uh, go 12 karat gold ingots um, the full set is so those are the more common armors um, next we have the cactus armor um, so cactus armor is made using uh, 24 cactus uh, in the normal ar uh, armor shape and it's just leather armor with uh, thorns uh, 3 and a marine king 5 um, maybe if you need torrents and uh, non-breaking, you can take it and disenchant and this stuff. But using it alone, it's it's not worth it. Like, it's just leather armor with torrents. So now we have the chainmail armor, and you may be wondering uh, why is it here? It's vanilla, uh, and that's actually because it now has a crafting recipe. Using uh, 24 chains, you can make a full set of chain armor, like this. Um, it doesn't have any special effects. It's, like I said, the Monella chain armor. So last up, we have the hazmat suit. Um, using this alone, uh, just for, I don't know, like going caving and stuff, I don't recommend it, but it does have a big... Uh, importance in slime fun and it also gives you some nice potion effects so it's made using tw uh, 12 black wool and uh, 12 orange wool and uh, one glass pane and that's for the full set again uh, the glass pane is used for the helmet like this and everything else is pretty self-explanatory and you can just see all the recipes anyways in the slime fun guide so let's put this on Um, as you can see, we got uh, water printing uh, 2 effect and fire resistance 2 effect. So that means we can just walk in fire, nothing happens, and go in water, and we don't lose our uh, air bubbles. But also, what this uh, full set allows you to do uh, is pick up uh, radi radioactive. Uh, materials so we can take uh, all of these things that like enrich another ice reduction level extremely high but you have a hazmat suit on and you're fine but as soon as we take off one of these uh, pieces of armor um, yeah nothing good nothing good happens you get a lot of uh, really bad effects and I don't think I'm gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, um, I died. And this was a bit short uh, of a short video, uh, but next time we will be talking about uh, basic energy generation. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, consider subscribing if you uh, think I'm worth it. Uh, and it also motivates me to make more videos. And also leave a like. So uh, I know that you liked the video. <laughs> um, if you didn't, leave a dislike and tell me why you didn't like the video in the comments. So yeah, see you next time.